I, I need to watch something I can actually turn into YouTube content, by the way, guys. Oh, this came out a year ago. Oh, wait, gameplay demo two days ago. It looks not great. Okay, let let's give it a watch. People are saying it's shit, but people are also saying it's not that bad. I mean, the environment looks good. It looks just more high res than uh, Origins. Oh, uh, I instantly We're saw joining. I instantly saw that, bro. And I just thought of like Far Cry Radio Tower instantly. Like that's where my brain goes to now. Has he just got Jordans on? <laughs> Yeah, he got drift. I respect it. Everyone's just pointing out how his name is Dick. Yes, Dick is the name, guys. Okay, so that's even worse than Batman. Are you tro look at what the fuck was that? The uh, like, I, I remember the lock in being a meme, right? In like the Batman games, but look at this. He's the actual like homing missile. What? Oh my god. Do you play across like different continents in this game? You just connect a punch with someone from like Africa or something? With rules and optional objectives. Oh my god, that's insane! I thought I thought they would have toned it down. I thought that's why everyone was shitting on it because everyone got so used to the whole like, lock on punch mechanic. Someone said aimbot IRL. Like I've actually never heard of a better comparison. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected by an assassin cult. Red Hood would be like, I'm the only person in Batman that actually kills people. I mean, this this doesn't look too bad. It was just that homing punch that connected that was just embarrassing. He fires non-lethal rounds that still do non-lethal rounds damage. that's literally against the oh uh, i don't even care about like batman law man but but isn't that the whole point of red hood to kill people he's the antithesis of batman he's like an anti-hero like he kills people that's the entire point of him someone said nice ass you down bad bro come on this isn't final gameplay. Oh yeah, no. Last minute. <laughs> Guys, it isn't final gameplay. What they're going to do is they'll add the pre-order bonus where his guns are just loaded with like live am ammunition. Does, does anyone remember that, by the way? There was like the worst pre-order bonus in history. It was a Metro game and there was a pre-order bonus where you would get like the highest difficulty. They locked a difficulty behind a pre-order bonus. And then you could buy it. For, that's right. You could buy it for $6. Imagine buying a difficulty, like embarrassing. Here's Red Hood's Imagine barrage paying for a difficulty. which deals piercing damage to interrupt armored attacks. Why is it non-lethal? That's such an L. The UI you're seeing. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna live though. He's yeah yeah he that guy fell 60 feet. He's probably just got knocked out. No, they're beating up the 511 guy. Don't do it. I mean, that that was cool. I like that. But at the same time, it's like, why even do that? You have a gun pointed to his head right here. Why not just shoot him? That seems really like impractical. And also Nightwing does a T-pose at the end. If anyone picked up on that. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, man. Like it, it looks good, but like I just see this as like prototype. This doesn't look like any kind of progression in gameplay than like the original prototype. I, I want to do a video on prototype at some point and prototype too, but it just it just looks so similar. It looks like a mobile game ad. Nah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It looks fine, but it just it just looks a bit shallow. Eh? Now that we've prevented the regulators from stealing data. I like how he skidded into that. Yeah, he's just driving into them and doesn't care. Is his health even going down? No, his health data. is going down, but there's no like actual Apart from that bar on the very bottom left of the screen going down, there is no indication that he's taking any kind of damage there. There's, he's, he's not even flinching. I like how you don't drive it. You don't even drive it for a second. They're like driving a four wheel in a Batman game? No, 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 no. Only the Batmobile. Oh, oh, this is meant to be a demonstration. Why are you missing so many hits, man? I, I respect I respect that it's not like pre-engine shit, right? You know, when they do like, this was made in engine, which means absolutely nothing because you've got to like compress it down for like consoles and PCs and stuff. That isn't like a, a giga military computer. But again, it's just like, oh, this gameplay looks so like hollow. It's a pretty good time. It's a pretty good time. I wouldn't say that. I would rather play Overwatch 2. I would actually rather play Overwatch 2. Hang on a minute. Batman does that. You can't steal that. Only Batman has a grappling hook. This this next sequence is from early in the game as we're just discovering the Court of Owls. It's like any gym before 4 p.m. on a weekday. You can actually get a workout done. runs the map of the city and lets us pursue challenges and advance the story. So I'm assuming you can't play as Batman in this, right? Because that's like what everyone would play as. Is he meant to be like dead or something or just like in another Nightwing city? Is tracking his next story mission, investigating the old powers club. So it's an open world game with a hub. The workbench is where we Oh go my God. And a workbench. Guys, this is actually groundbreaking. I don't crime. think they've done this since like Each Dead Space 3. Has different stats. 
giving the player a wide range no of choices don't for do individual. this for fuck's sake i fucking hate this man like, like, like cyberpunk did this and i hate this so much stop tying attributes to cosmetics stop it i hate that so much like, like you that happened in far cry 6 thankfully in far cry 6 you could there was like an option to turn that off because i i love wearing certain clothing in a video game and i hate have you seen like you've seen the screenshots of cyberpunk right you could have this full like teflon security armor from like one of the uh, japanese like conglomerate corporations right like heavy armor and that has less stats than like you wearing boxer shorts and a hawaiian shirt because the hawaiian shirt is a higher level you, you can't even like customize how you want to look it's so stupid because it's, it's tied to gameplay i hate that shit player is fine this is the worst trend in gaming and it needs to like die like so quickly at this point in the story our characters are still processing the loss of batman i hate to say it i hate to say it. i'm gonna call it now i bet you he dies in the opening of the game and i bet you like at the very end of the game he's still alive he just like some big like after credits reveal or something he fell off he got cancelled on twitter <laughs> Yeah, he had to leave. He had to leave Gotham. Everyone hated him. But who's the buff guy? I have no idea who that is. Who, who's he meant to be? I just think of Bane. Inflated Batman. Shut up. Players can unlock fast travel to get around the city in a hurry with the fast bat. The, the city does look nice. This ain't looking so good. I, I think it looks fine. They're, they're definitely using the fog to like obscure the draw distance. But I, I think it looks nice. The only worry I have with games like this, like sandbox games where you play as the good guy, is there's not going to be a lot to do. Because the entire point of a sandbox is for you to not go from mission to mission but have to have to do stuff in between so how can you actually interact with the game world like in between it's apart from going to like random right. points and like beating up a group of people over and over and over maybe like a time trial or something basically what i'm saying is you can't get in a car and you can't run old people over so it's probably going to be shit lego batman 2 i don't think the graphics are that bad come on so what do you think the poor bastard did what poor bastard as far as i know i just got a longer break poor bastard I wonder what that means. <laughs> oh, that's so crit. That that's like an example Donkey would use in a video of how like there's bad writing in a game. Come on, bastard. poor bastard. I wonder what that means. I like how he says that out loud. Like like you saw his lips move when he said that as well. He, he's just like he's there. Like poor bastard. I wonder what that means. Lamau. They said poor bastard three times in like twenty seconds. By the way. Uh Nightwing be like, I have sticks. Every hero has unique takedowns and finishing moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make right. more noise. Pick up the gun, pick up the gun. If it was a good game, you could pick up the gun. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate mysteries. Here we see Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals- The amount of backflips he did there that contributed nothing to the fight. I respect it. I can't even complain about the homing here because like that was all Batman games. Like Batman always had this kind of like lock on ability, like you're a smart missile or something. Like what what would what would make contact with you quicker? A javelin missile from COD or Batman throwing a punch on the other side of a city? You know what makes me really sad? I hate that games like this are still being made, but we're never gonna get another game like Dishonored. That 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 really hurts, man. No, we're, we're not gonna get a game like that for a long time. Not with that level of like polish and production value and budget. What was that cutscene? Like, you introduced them like they're the two main bad guys of the game or something. Just the same people, but now they have masks. Okay, they did meth, and now they're meth goblins. For anybody wondering how this fight looks with Red Hood, check this out. Check this out. It's the same thing, but with guns. Wow, that was... The thing is, the guns sound cool, but why do they give that effect like he's casting like a, a fire spell in Skyrim? Red Hood takes on a Talon gladiator here. One of the Court of Owls engineered superhuman assassins. You could have literally just said he's a, he's a brute enemy. You could have just easily said that. Oh, he's going to get back up. Literally doesn't change the attacks. They're just now green, by the way. I will definitely be buying this game. Okay, if he blows up into chunks, it's game of the year. No, he just fell unconscious. Okay. It was a knockout grenade. You know, you get like C4 that just knocks people out and doesn't do like any actual physical damage. <laughs> Non-lethal pipe bomb. Non-lethal pipe bomb. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Non-lethal pipe bomb. Like, I get it, okay? You can't kill people because this game is probably rated a 12. Uh, and if they go for the 15 rating or any higher, they're going to like lose out. They're going to lose out on sales. I get that. But again, it's just like, oh, it's so, so mid. Mid man. Mid man. Oh no, he's stuck in a cage. 
Pre-order now and get the 233 custom bat cycle skin. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! I'm with the pre-orders! <laughs> Oh,